Happy Friday, Crossroads family. My name is Keegan, and I'm coming to you with the daily devotion for the current sermon series, Starting Well. And this past Sunday, the word on the sermon series was empowerment. And Pastor Paul taught on how Jesus was tempted 40 days and 40 nights, or um, excuse me, he was fasting for 40 days and 40 nights in the desert, and then was tempted uh, three times by Satan um, in the desert. And um, Jesus did this in preparation to go into his full-time ministry. He was out there fasting and preparing himself to be empowered by the Holy Spirit uh, to then go into his full-time ministry. And for my devotion and reflection, um, I wanted to talk about, uh, some of you may have heard it's a popular Netflix show, Cobra Kai, it's called, um, and I'll often watch it. Uh, my parents love the show, so I'll often watch it, and then we'll have discussions and talk about, like, oh, what happened in the episode, stuff like that. Um, and one of the episodes, one of the, if you're not familiar with it, uh, Kreese is his name, I think, his character's name, uh, but he talks about an experience in Vietnam um, of how it was tough to know who, he's, who his, the enemy was while he was serving in Vietnam. And now I didn't do any research on this, uh, but I'm sure uh, you can do some research and I'm sure you can find many stories of people that served in the Vietnam War, um, of stories of, uh, you know, maybe them uh, American soldiers training in uh, certain Vietnam Vietnamese soldiers, uh, training them in on their weapon systems and teaching them uh, how to be a better soldier. Um, you know, one day, and then the next day, you know, they're out on a patrol, and the person they just taught how to use the weapon system is firing it at them. Um, and they talk about how, you know, when they were over in, during the Vietnam War, uh, it was tough sometimes to identify who the enemy is. And I think about how oftentimes as us as Christians, or and myself, we walk through life uh, forgetting who the enemy is. Uh, and that we're not in tuned and aware of who the enemy is. And that's why I'd like to teach on uh, the, the story of Jesus in the desert. It's Satan. Uh, Satan is the enemy. So I don't know what you're going through or who's listening to this. Um, but the enemy is not a person. It's not, uh, it's not a person. It's not one of your coworkers. The enemy um, is not... Um, you know, a team, a sports team, it's not, um, it's not coming to me. <laughs> Fill in the blank with X, Y, or Z. Um, the enemy is Satan. Uh, oftentimes we think uh, my job is the enemy. My, I'm just, work is so tough. You know, time is the enemy. The, the list goes on and on of what we as humans can think the enemy is. Um, but it's Satan. Um, you know, First Peter chapter five verse eight says, "Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour." So he's Satan, sneaky. He he oftentimes it, it, he doesn't look like Satan. He disguises himself. You know, sometimes um, maybe as social media. Maybe sometimes he disguises himself as Netflix. Maybe sometimes he disguises himself as the comfort of your bed or couch. I don't know what that looks like uh, for all our individual personal lives. Um, um, but Satan disguises himself you know, um, in different ways and attacks us very sneakily. Um, so we need to be, we need to know who our enemy is and it's Satan. Um, it's also the world. First John chapter two, verse 15 says, do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the father is not in him. And then our enemy is also our flesh, our sinful nature. Uh, Romans chapter eight, verse seven says, the mind governed by the flesh is hostile to God. It does not submit to God's law, nor can it do so. So in other words, none of us are good by nature. Um, we're all sinful sinful human beings by our nature. I think of the story of the rich young ruler running up to Jesus and saying, hey, good teacher, what must I do to inherit the kingdom of heaven? And Jesus uh, quickly responding with truth and love uh, gently reminds uh, the rich young ruler running up to him says, you know, why do you call me good? There's none good but God. 
so he was humbling him and realize, helping him realize his pride. Um, so again, we're all sinful by nature. So our enemy is Satan, the world, and then our flesh. So how do we overcome the enemy? Now, as Christians that we're in tuned of who the enemy is and each day we should understand that there is an enemy, but we don't have to be afraid of them. Why? Because we've got God's word, we have the power of the Holy Spirit, and because we have Jesus. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11 says, Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. So we can't overcome uh, Satan or the world or the flesh or the culture by our own strength. To just, oh, try harder, be more disciplined, work harder. You can overcome it. You can do it. Uh, that's not how it works as Christians. <laughs> we can't do it on our own strength. Each and every day, we have to lay our burdens down at the cross of Jesus. And we also have to stay in God's word daily uh, and to know his word. That's how Jesus fought off Satan in the desert. He quoted scripture back at Satan um, and had his scripture written on his heart and he was able to withstand the, the attacks of the, the devil uh, because he knew God's word and he was able to discern how God would want him to behave and respond in situations. And then also the power being empowered by the Holy Spirit. And then again, like I said, Jesus. Um, so that's three ways that we can overcome the enemy. Um, so let's pray. God, I thank you so much uh, for your Holy Spirit that you give us to empower us um, to overcome the attacks of Satan, of the world and culture, and also our flesh, our sinful nature, Lord. And I thank you for your word that you've given to us. We're so blessed to have your word. And I would pray that uh, you would help me and everyone listening to this, that we stay grounded and rooted in your word each and every day, each and every second of our lives, that we, uh, we stay close to your word and love your word and develop a heart and passion for reading your word and studying it with others. We also thank you for... Um, just your son, Lord, for Jesus paying the ultimate price because we know that we can't overcome the enemy on our own strength, uh, but we need your grace and mercy each and every single day. And we praise you and thank you that uh, your grace is sufficient through, for us through your son, Jesus. And it's in your name we pray. Amen. Have a great Friday, everyone. God bless.